Hi guys, my name's Mitz and this is a newer version of a video that I made a number of years ago. Um, at the moment I'm using Windows 10 or 11, they're all pretty much the same. So what we want to do is change someone's password or play around with some user accounts using the net user command. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is on the keyboard, just to open the run box, we're going to press the Windows key and the letter R at the same time. So now we've got this run box here. So this is what I call the run box. So then we want to type in CMD, which is short for the command window that I want. But I don't want to press OK because I want it to open up as an admin. So what I'm going to do is I've got another sh keyboard shortcut. It's Control, Shift and Enter all at the same time. So you're going to need two hands for that one. Two hands. Control, Shift and Enter. And a box comes up and asks you, do you want to do it? And you say yes. Okay. So now we've got a command window open. Okay. Just move this over a bit. One thing I do want to mention is that if you can't get, get into your computer and you want to get to a command window, you can use a, um, a boot up disk if you've still got one. I don't know, like my, I didn't, I didn't get one with my computer, but um, you can also use a USB bootable drive or whatever. Um, so they get you into the computer and you can get to the command window. So they used to have these, they've actually got these little disks or bootable disks that have utilities on them which are quite handy to have and um, they let you get into the command window and so does like just say you had Windows 7 or you had Windows 10 they usually come with a disk you could use that. All right let's get on with it. So the first thing is that we're, we're using the net user command so let's have a look at it. So all we have to do is type in net user. Okay. By the way we can tell that we are in there as an admin because we've got Windows slash system 32 otherwise it'd have your username in there and it doesn't. Okay. So then we're typing in net user and we're just going to press enter. Enter on the keyboard and then it shows all the accounts here. Okay, so here's the first thing that we're going to do. We're just going to change someone's password. So just for an example, we're just going to change Jarrah's password there. So we're going to type in net user space Jarrah and number 8 on the keyboard. Okay, so what that is is net user Jara space. So we've got the spaces in between. You've got to be very careful. If, if you don't have the spaces, it won't work. Then you've got the asterisk, which is above the number 8. Press enter. So it's asking me for a password for Jara. So now I'm going to type it in. Now I'm only going to type three characters because it's not going to come up on the screen. Okay? Okay. But now I have changed her password. All I have to do is press enter. Okay. So now I have to retype the password to make sure I've got it the same. Okay. So now it says the command is completed successfully. So it's not that easy because it doesn't show on the screen. So do something very simple if you're trying to get into that account. It only has to be something like three letters just all in a row or anything like that. So don't make it too complicated at this stage until you're ready to get into the account and then change it again. Alright, so that was how to change the password. Okay, now we're going to see, so we're going to type in net user and Jara, and we're just going to see what Jara about her account. So there we go. So uh, it says 
last password set and a couple of other things here but also it says local group membership it's a and she is a user a user okay oh that's not very nice so now we're going to make Jara an administrator because at this point she's just a user <laughs> okay I love that okay so we're going to put in net okay local group and then we're going to type in the group that I want her to be a part of Oh, you got to you got to type it right too cuz look at that mistake there that is not right okay so we got a t oop and you can't really go back and change things so you've got to go and backspace and do it so we've got admin administrators yep local group yep net and then we want to write J A R R A H because we want to make Jara a admin. Then we're going to put a space, a slash, and put add. Okay, so we've got net local group administrators Jara slash add. Okay, so now it says the command is completed successfully. So we want to see what happened. Did it work? Is she still a user or is she an administrator? So let's go net user Jara and press enter. Okay, so now she is an administrator. So now Jara is an administrator. I've changed her password. Um, what else can I do? Now I can add a new user completely so we're going to go so we're going to uh, add a new user so we're going to type net user and then the the new account name so we'll call it Betty and if we want a password we could put it in right now but we don't have to so we don't have to have a password but we can now I'll just put one in just for the sake of it okay so well, I'm just putting three K's then I'm putting a space then I'm putting slash add so what I'm doing right now is I'm adding Betty as a user and her um, password is KKK and I'm adding her now at the moment she's just going to be a user so we're going to add her in let's have a look it says the command is completed successfully now we'll go to yet net user to see Betty in the list okay there's Betty alright right so and let's see what Betty is I'm pretty sure she should be a user so we'll go Betty net user Betty okay so Betty is a user alright so like uh, like before we can change her to an administrator I'll do it quickly again net local oh, local group administrators that's better um, and then we're gonna say her account which is Betty and then we're going to press a slash add so what we're doing is adding her to the local group called administrators okay so now we're going to check on Betty again and see if she's changed to an administrator there we go okay now let's delete an account but before we delete Betty's account I am going to show you how to remove her and as administrator or anyone else so we don't want her to be an administrator because she doesn't know what she's doing so we're going to go net user oh no we're not sorry we're going to go net local group like we put her in there so we're going to take her out now so net local group in 
administrators. Okay, just make sure you've got it right because you'll just have to do it again. Net local group administrators and then Betty. Okay, and instead of uh, doing add, which we did, we added her as an administrator, we're going to delete. That's it. So we're going to delete uh, Betty as an administrator. Okay, so it says the command has been completed successfully. So now we're going to check on Betty again and see if she's back to being a user. So net user Betty. Let's check Betty. Okay, Betty's just a user now. Alright, so now I created Betty's account and um, but you do that the same way um, you're going to take her away now. Now uh, what I'm going to do I actually set the password on Betty's account it was KKK now I'm going to see if I can take Betty's account away without using the password so net user and it was Betty okay and I did put a password but I'm not going to put that there I'm just going to put slash delete okay so let's see if this deletes Betty's account so it says the command was completed successfully so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type net user just to see what accounts are left on the computer okay so Betty's gone now that's it, Betty's gone. Now let's check out another account on here. Let's check out my account. So we're going to go net user mits. Okay, to see. And I am an administrator. There we go. So since I was already an administrator, when we first opened the run box, I could have done all this without having to hit the extra shortcut key to be an administrator okay um, so if you're not an administrator you want to hit those shortcut keys to get into the command window as an administrator alright um, thanks for watching